speckled in gray. When a lucky old son, he got nothing to do but roll around having all. Once again, with the Artist Corner Part 2. Um, I had a few complaints about my last program, the Artist Corner Part 1, because it had a song called Rebel Chi Chi, which had a few lines, according to them, that were offensive. Okay, now, I'm going to say to you clearly now. It does not say, I wear my ding dong. It says, I wear my ding dong, Rabo a Chi Chi. Don't you get it? I wear my ding dong, Rabo a Chi Chi. Okay. All right then. Forget that. That's that's his old subject. That's gone and that's that patched. Okay. Now, right now, I want to show you a little clip of um, something something new, which I just saw the other day. It's called the Book Pervert. Um, it's an old film, an old stag picture, which I saw the other day. And I just wanted to share with you guys because it was kind of humorous as well as uh, a little bit racy on the edges there. So let's go with the book pervert. Uh, books, 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 books. Okay, okay, right, right, that's, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now, before I start my show, I just want to tell you guys that this is going to be a less, less extreme, less bizarre show than the last one. It's more subdued, as, as you can see. But, um, today we're going to have a few people. We're going to have John Allen of the Big Bad Bullocks. We're going to have, um, Jenny Burnett. She's a painter as well as a few videos of myself that I created a couple times. So uh, maybe if you can just sit back, relax, have your popcorn, and just watch The Artist's Corner Part 2. Thank you very much. I think we can end on that note. If that was a note, was that a note? No. Huh? Oh. It's another music video? Such a disgrace? Yeah. Okay, here's a music video called Such a Disgrace. Just go and get yourself and get yourself right out of this place. Fake earrings, leather whip, you oppose yourself as such a disgrace. A mainstream work of art, juxtapose a fish with hearts. Break all the ball of cheese, dine with me and do it you please. Of all entrances to clear this lane Talk with the warmth of love And think inside with a chill of hate Shadowed by an octopus Eight by eight hide under the bush Freeze by a cold cock cave Lengthen life with my own
Now that you saw the music video, get a load of this. Hit me! <laughs> Your cigarette is the closest glow I can reach, for dusk is now gracing our sky. For the still are the gentler mocking shapes, which streetlights project into the darkness. We are traveling the impersonal sidewalk again, surrounded by a city's noises. So there is a rhythmic pattern to loneliness, marked by the fall of our steps. The night stretches its arms out to hold us, side streets open up to unfold us. Traffic brings solitude like nothing else can. We are lost, with only the stars wrapped in smoke as a guide. Night spent learning the geography of your arms and legs, in a twilight you can barely remember when your fingers did not entwine in despair, or the honey-tasted movements of palms which were your pupils, your mouth forming the caressing stillness of a lover. Night spent touching the rhythm beneath your breast, till a dawn you can almost recall kissed your eyelids when you sleep. We are caught together underwater, swimming hard against the rush, trapped in a boiling, sinuous stream from which I cannot wake up. Hiding under a plaque admire, so doubtful of my lucidity, that even as a raging flood throws us about, I can read that he barely cares for me. I have taken the role of a seething wraith, the offspring who can't let it be, forever going back to the day when, like a burning leaf, my father curled away from me. We are breathing life into demons, a craft I am sure he would rather not see, I am dancing on ice, he is burning his feet, as I raise the dead so frivolously. This has no title, because I just can't think I'm up quick enough. Dew hangs, almost defiant of gravity, and the early morning is heavy with it. Stalks of grass seem only to serve as anchors, bent over, silver, and laden with the scattered mist. In the dimness of early morning, I am resting in this haven. I am on my back beneath the sky, while the green tips sway around in the wind, a movement shaking water upon my face, almost as sweet as your touch. Every mouthful carried the darkness of so many swallowed words. Home was a raw, constricted throat. There was no air anywhere. I left it behind, choosing instead to breathe without pain. It is that simple. It is never that simple. Always ghosts arrive. There is guilt, for in the faces of my brothers and sister, I glimpse a hell, a quiet I barely averted. Okay, what do you think about the music scene in Northampton? The music scene? Yes. Well, I don't really pay much attention to it, usually. I mean, I just come through sometimes and uh, I just, you know, Northampton is a nice place, but uh, yes, indeed. I was never usually into, into like some music I'll, I'll listen to, some I don't. Like rap, I might listen to sometimes. Uh, or uh, you might laugh. Probably uh, Debbie Gibson. Debbie Gibson, really? Yeah. Yeah, Do you yeah. know she's working with the Circle Jerks? Not that long ago. Uh, they're like a heavy metal band, right? Yes. Um, I never knew that actually. Yeah. Uh, I think she's going solo now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've lived here like not that long. I mean, but I moved to Amherst, uh, and, and Amherst seems like a, like a okay place. So Amherst, I take it Amherst has a music scene of its own, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, they do. Uh, they have like. Uh, like, I, I think like each town has different like music uh, uh, music styles. You know? Really? Y yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Now that you're seeing the little poetry thing, get a look at my little video here. It's called Mystic Weemo Man. Okay. Watch my little video, Mystic Weemo Man. Right now. Edit.
who does art. Her name is Genevieve Burnett. Would you like to talk to Genevieve Burnett? Or will you see her? Here we go. Here's a little thing of Genevieve Burnett. Thank you. You started this one, you had a, a photograph the, that he took of himself by holding the camera out yeah. like this and he yeah. took the picture. He does that. He does that, yeah. He does that a lot. Uh -huh. uh, How old is your brother? Uh, he's uh, 53. 53. Yeah. So he's a year younger than you? I'm uh, 55. Yeah, so he's two years younger than you are. Yeah. Well, you grew up together with him. Yeah. Yeah. And you've always been very close, is that right? Yeah. yeah. The interesting thing about this is the removed observer yeah. is yeah. you, the painter, because yeah. you are in the place of the painter here, yeah. with the with the yeah. hands yeah. in the lap, looking down the hallway of some sort of an institution. Yeah. Where yeah. was this done? Where was that done? Yes. Brattleboro. Uh-huh, when you lived in Brattleboro? Did you do this painting when you were at the retreat or after? I did some at the retreat. Yeah. At the retreat? Yeah. There's a whole combination of some Mike plaques on wood. And there's these Mike t-shirts that you did. And then there's the, the oil painting of the Mike t-shirt. So it's a painting of a painting. It's kind of interesting. 
and this Genevieve Burnett mic exhibit. What's this all about? Well, you see, when I had the first mic exhibit, it was in the Burnett room at the John Library. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Burnett room was named after your grandfather. Yeah, that mic, uh, the mic exhibit in the Genevieve Burnett in the Burnett room. Uh-huh. You had Mike for how many years? Uh, he lived to be about 19 years old. 19? 19, 20 years old. Uh-huh. He's a very close he, companion of yours. Yeah. I, I, I worried about when he was going to die and everything. I want to make him a star. He was so beautiful. He's a beautiful friend. Yeah. He's a very personable cat. I love him. They be little kittens or something. I took them in and I <laughs> He'd be like a father. <laughs> big brother. And you, so you had the, this cat, Mike, for 19 years, his very mm -hmm. close friend, through thick and thin. Yeah, yeah. And then he passed away. Yeah. And is that when you started on doing the, the Mike class? I started class? paying me for it. Oh, before? Yeah. You want to make him a star, you want to make him important. Yeah, yeah. I want to make my mm -hmm. uh, Here's Bob again with yeah, Mike. Uh, <laughs> so this is from a photograph of Bob posing yeah, with Mike. He had like the same child, you Uh-huh. You had a little ink sketch on a piece of paper that you pulled out of your stack of millions of drawings and you start on this canvas and you reproduce the drawings faithfully to that piece of paper. Yeah. So you, you had a little you had a little sketch of Mike's ears over here in the corner yeah. and uh, there was a, a spot on the, the paper and you painted that spot in a, a sort of a dirty tone and you also painted that into the painting. Yeah. So you painted the page just the way you saw it. Yeah. It's a wonderful rendering. And it is. Well, as I remember, I, you yeah. were sitting in the studio mm -hmm. and you weren't painting. And I suggested, why don't you do a portrait, yeah. a self-portrait, yeah. and fill it full of the love that you see. Yeah. And you came up with this idea. Yeah, thank you for that idea. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember being that explicit, yeah. but uh, certainly yeah. I remember how this painting just seemed to pour out of you. Yeah. Hi. Unfortunately, I feel kind of iffy making this little segment here, but um, it's a band called The Imaginations, a so-called band called The Imaginations. Okay, uh, I'm going to give this to you, so here we go.
kind of slow moving, so let's take a lunch break. It's boogie. Number two with a Coke and a number five with a Coke. Can I make you try to eat for 39 cents? No thanks. Come to 1027, please drive up. What's taking so long? The cowboys are holding things up. The cowboys? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The you know cowboy. how cowboys are. Cowboys. Cowboys, I see you. tell you something about the next act. Hit me. Okay. I understand we're going to have some, there's some rumors saying that we're going to have Sandra Bullock on this TV show. Now let me get this clear with you guys. I mean, there's so many rumors, I can't believe how long it's taken for long for this show. Anyways, we're not going to have Sandra Bullock, Sandra Bullock on this TV show. We're going to have the...
through the night to Munich, Germany, cause that's where they died. They died in the snow, they died in the snow, they died in the snow, they died in the snow. You know I touch Okay, it was kind of iffy, but how I was going to end this program, um, I'm going to end it this way, okay? So I'm going to direct you to my other self, all right? Hit me. And we mo, Julio 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 and we mo. Julio and Guimo, Julio and Guimo, Julio and Guimo, Julio and 